Five students and five employees of Doan College, Lekki, linked to the death of Sylvester Oromoni, have been freed as police, the Lagos State Government and the school maintained that Oromoni died naturally. But the parents insist they won't bury their son, even if it takes 30 years to get justice. It doesn't appear this matter would be laid to rest anytime soon, Biko. Yes, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm truly embarrassed. I'm truly embarrassed. You see, in our country, certain things happen that just make you to wonder and ask the question, why are we like this? There was an autopsy that was conducted and the report came out December 10. That autopsy was uh, conducted in Delta State. And it was that autopsy that said that he, he drank poisonous substance. That autopsy also said he, he suffered injury, you know, uh, around the lungs. So that autopsy would make one believe that this boy was actually a victim of murder, even if it is involuntary murder, just murder. Then after that autopsy, the stakeholders called for a toxicology report. The toxicology report then affirmed that he was not poisoned. Then a second autopsy was requested. Since they could not achieve unanimity within the stakeholders, a second autopsy. It is that second autopsy I'm saying, look, this boy was not a victim of bullying. He was not a victim of poisoning. And uh, he's saying that, look, he died a natural death. And that his lungs, the, the autopsy, the second autopsy says that he suffered liver, heart, lungs um, damage arising from an injury uh, in his ankle meaning that his body organs were infected as a result of an injury that he suffered. Now, this second autopsy had the military in attendance, had the police in attendance, had the UCH represented by his pathologist, and the pathologist who did the first, who conducted the first autopsy, was also a, a witness to the second autopsy. So the question now is, who is saying the truth? We have two autopsies now. Two autopsies saying two different things. Only in our country. So given this situation and the quickness with which Establish no prima facie case of uh, involuntary murder or murder or manslaughter can be pinned against the eight persons who are in, uh, detained. Then the police proceeded to immediately release these people. So the question is who is saying the truth? I believe that this matter cannot end at this point. And I would advise the Lagos State Government not to hurriedly open that school. All these doubts, all these issues must be cleared before the school is reopened. So that people don't go to that school and turn it to a protest ground. Let all these matters be cleared. Let the truth be laid bare for everyone to see. Before we can say, okay, let us open this school, you know? Right. But I still think that, look, 
that some people are not saying the truth. Yeah. This is this is what it looks like to me. Yeah. Be two autopsies saying two different things. Mm -hmm.